Greetings viewers, welcome. Today's poem is La Bordine. La Bordine was a French player, was born in 1795, full name being Louis Charles Mahé D. La Bordine. There are a lot of interesting things about his life that made me write uh, this poem. Let me just start by talking about how he came to chess. La Bordine was quite a rich man, but unfortunately he squandered his wealth due to some land deals and after that he took a decision of earning a living from chess alone and this was a very very brave decision at that time considering that the tournaments were not regular the prize money was not very attractive and it also involved a lot of traveling because the tournaments were not held in a single place but Labordine took the decision and he did uh, stick to the decision that he took he not only played chess but he also contributed uh, by providing articles to chess magazines which had just started at that time the other thing about uh, Labordini was the breakthrough year that he got, which is interesting. In 1824, he beat a lot of English players and this made a lot of compatriots take note of his prowess and calling him the best player in Europe. And a lot of them were wondering who could actually challenge Labordini. And lo, it did happen. There was an Irish player by named Alexander MacDonald who actually challenged Labordini. They planned to uh, compete in a series of six matches. And the beauty is that it's, uh, this is considered as the unofficial world championship match of chess called as Westminster Marathon before all the world championship ma matches were actually scheduled this is still considered as the unofficial world championship match to talk about the results Labordini won the match convincingly even though five matches happened the six, even though it was scheduled for six matches only five matches happened because Labordini had to travel after fifth match and unfortunately Alexander McDonald died as well uh, Labordini won the match by a score of four matches to one match uh, of Alexander McDonald it was 4-1 in favor of Labordini whenever we are talking uh, about Labordini, Alexander McDonald also comes up as a subject. It is majorly because of Westminster Marathon, but there is another interesting thing uh, about Labordini and Alexander McDonald. Alexander McDonald died due to a disease called as Bright Disease. And just five years later, Labordini also dies. And Labordini's last days were very difficult. Labordini was penniless and he had to sell his clothes to pay his debts that was how difficult his financial condition was uh, when uh, during his last days and alexander mcdonald and labordini are buried in the same cemetery that is uh, actually very rare it has not happened between any two players it, they are buried in kensal green cemetery and their graves are just a stone's throw away and this gives an indication that sports not only brings people when they are alive but even when they are no more this is a rare occasion it was arranged by george walker who was a chess player but the players had not requested specifically for any such arrangements but just george walker who was also organizing uh, uh, tournaments he was the one who organized westminster marathon who recorded the most and ensured that it reached a vast majority of the chess audience so let us get into the poem and see more about Labordini's life. The death of Philidor meant that great chess talent was extinct. However, in 1820 there emerged players who could be called as contenders. Labordini, who was born to rich, did make the switch and decided to earn from chess alone, which placed him in a different zone. He barely made the ends meet. One can only applaud this daring feat. He played in an intuitive attacking style and pressure he did pile, which was characteristic of his temperament, which did result in some merriment. 1824 was the year of Labordini, where he used his chess skills and crushed the English masters, which made his compatriots call him the best in Europe until someone caused a stirrup. A talented Irishman Macdonald emerged to challenge, but Labordini had enough courage and won the series of six matches, which was named the Westminster Marathon, which later went on to be named as the first battle for the chess crown. Fate had its own game. These members of the Hall of Fame faced premature death and couldn't travel the length. These chess players' lives did wither and were buried close to each other. Proximity was not just over the chess board, but in the grave too 
for a journey beyond the full poem along with the explanation is available in the description thanks for your attention